Hello, I hope you liked the mini documentary about the Project Roble. In this lecture, I will explain a bit more of the sustainable measures taken in the building of Van Helvoort Groen Projecten. This is a 3D model of the building, seen from the northwest. As you can see, the northern part has a lower roof, while the south roof is higher and rather steep. It of course holds the PV panels, but also captures daylight and sunlight. In order, in order to avoid too much upheating, the south facade has an overhang that avoids too much irradiation from the high summer sun, while the lower winter sun is still admitted. This is explained by this small animation. This is a nice drone shot of Project Roble. Let's have a look at the section of the building. Here you will see that the high sun in summer hardly reaches the interior. And in winter the sun is lower, much lower than this actually, and then reaches the interior for the desired passive solar heat. The admittance of daylight in winter is further promoted by a pond in front of the south facade, as seen on this photo. And this animation illustrates the principle. Here's the building again. Its section. Here we see the winter sun again coming in. And this is what happens with the pond in front. The internal zoning of the building is simple. A greenhouse to the south and other spaces to the north such as offices, a pantry and toilets. You can see this clearly in the floor plan of Project Roble. We have mainly looked at the elongated part of the building. The block on the right is an existing building that was included in the construction plans. As you can see, the greenhouse in the middle is the big connector of all spaces. So the greenhouse is rather important, not just as an architectural element built from sustainable materials, yet also for the climatization of the building. It brings in light, heat and air. High windows to the north bring in a lot of daylight, but they can also be opened for ventilation, amongst others to discharge hot air in summer. The west facade has vertical rods, which will keep out irradiation from the south, but admit the lower western sun. On the northern elevation, we see a relatively transparent facade to admit a lot of daylight that does not heat up the building. The glass panels are of course well insulating. As you can see, this part of the building also has a view on a beautiful green garden. A landscaping greenery company as Van Helvoort of course paid a lot of attention to integrating the green into their building and surroundings as we can see from this cross section. The most eye-catching feature perhaps is the water purifying green roof, a world innovation. Here we see it with the robot mower. As you've seen in the film, Water purified by this roof is used for toilet flushing. Now, a more complicated story concerns the building services, which we can find in the technical plant room. Here you see a bunch of them, with the air treatment chambers with heat recovery wheel to the left. The heat pump system for the underfloor heating can be seen from the black pipes, and the boxes to the right are the heat pumps. Here you see the exterior part of the heat pumps, the condensers, which extract heat from the air in winter, and possibly discharge heat from the building in summer. So they are air source heat pumps. Technically, these are less efficient than water or ground source heat pumps, since the sort of sources of these are more stable in temperature. In inner city situations, heat pumps used for cooling, just as with air conditioners, could have a negative effect of heating up the air in the city, but this would not be a problem here. Because of the lower efficiency in cold winter, it's good that Van Helvoort has extra heating power. As you know, in wintertime, a hearth provides extra heat for the underfloor heating system. It is efficiently burning wood logs, waste material from cuttings. And finally, Projector Robles power station can be found on this roof. Photovoltaic panels that generate more energy than the building needs. So, that sums up the most important features of what makes Projecto Roble an energy positive building with many more elements of sustainability. With this, I want to thank you for your attention and wish you good luck with your assignment of this week. I hope to see you back again next week. Bye.